Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Buff Elgato, and I want to show you tips on how to kill and also how to survive in Friday the 13th, the game. First of all, you want to pick a counselor that is set up for your play style, whether it's stealth, running fast, trying to attack Jason, or to repair things. Uh, for me, I use AJ because of her stealth and her repair are pretty high. Also, her, her composure is pretty well. When you first start, what you want to do is go ahead and run into... Here I'm in the big house, so I want to get some weapons and I want to check every single drawer. You want to make sure you check everything. There's been times where we couldn't find the phone fuse and it's because one drawer hasn't been pulled out. Also, if you're in the small cabins, make sure you close the doors behind you, lock them, open the windows, and then start searching. Um, for good teamwork, I would recommend never um, go into somebody else's house while they're in there. But do check behind them once they leave. Like this house has already been checked over, but somebody did not even call Tommy. So I came on in here to call Tommy. He hadn't been called. It took me a while to find the house. Um, the house is marked with a large antenna. You can see it when, once you get close to one. But what I do is I wait till somebody leaves and I'll go back through and check the house. Also, don't ever lead Jason to someone. That's kind of a dick move. Um, if you ever see a battery, uh, propeller, gasoline, keys, even if you don't want to carry it, um, like I have a gun, so I probably won't carry a battery if I don't need to, pick it up and then put it back down. That way it shows up on the map for everyone else. Uh, also, try to play as a team as good as possible. Um, because you never know when you might need some help or some backup because your plan might fall through. So right here I'm in the four-door car. It's filled. We had to leave one guy. One guy wasn't playing correctly. Uh, Tommy got in the car with us. Tommy should never escape when there's people still in the map. You already, you already escaped or you already died. Your second chance, you shouldn't have to come back and leave a counselor. You only get 200 points if you escape. But if Tommy, the longer you stay in, the more damage you do to Jason, you're going to get a lot more points than just 200. So Tommy shouldn't have been in that car, but he jumped in anyway, um, trying to get his measly 200 points. Um, also, if you leave right there, uh, a lot of people don't know this. Everything you take with you washes up on the shore of the lake, whether it's a gun, um, fuse, um, pocket knives, things like that. So a lot of stuff right there just washed up because we had a car full of four. When you play as Jason, uh, pick the Jason that um, has the perks that you like. The first thing that I do, and I'm telling you, no one hardly ever escapes from me, is teleport to the telephone. Put a trap down by the telephone. Don't even worry about killing um, the uh, counselors yet. And then what I do is I find the first fuse box, the electrical box that's near the telephone. I go ahead and knock that out as well and put a trap by that. So now not only do they have to find the fuse, they have to repair the electrical box, work their way around my trap. If they hit it or disarm it, I'll hear it. And then even if they do that, they have to go repair the fuse box for the phone and then make a phone call. So what I do is I go around, hit all the fuse boxes. Once I hit all the fuse boxes, I go and check the car. You see there's people here trying to fix the car. You'll hear it whenever they, if they make a mistake um, by putting the gas or whatever in. Make sure you get your knives because a lot of people when they jump through windows, they like to stand there and just look at you or dance. Take knives. Every time you hit them, they're going to use a spray. Uh, you'll get them. Also, hit your stalk and sense before you um, morph. You'll scare the shit out of people. You see this guy right here. He just quits. Scared the shit out of him. He just cut his Xbox off. That way they don't know you're about to pop up on them. They have no music, nothing like that. So they have no idea that you're about to morph right on top of them. Especially if they're sitting in the woods. If you do your scents and you see them sitting out in the woods or something, um, hit your stalk, hit your scents, and then, uh, then go after them. So here I'm down by the boat just checking around. I had heard somebody putting gas in. Um, 
So I'm just going to go around and try to find everybody. Tommy is usually the last person I kill just because he starts out with a gun, pocket knife, medical spray. All his stats are stacked, things like that. So he's usually the last one I kill. So I go around, break all the windows, make sure everybody uses up all the sprays. Uh, when it comes to Tommy, if I get close to him, um, I'm just going to swing and do damage like that because if you grab him, you know he's going to use his pocket knife unless you want to go ahead and make him use that up. But anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for the tips and tricks. Uh, just work as a team, and um, nine times out of ten, you're going to make it out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.